I guess we can all pay our respects to the GoPro hero. Now I gotta go find another camera. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, So Xavier, would you like to explain what just happened? He flipped. Descriptive? Yeah. Yes, he flipped. I like these pants too. Well, at least you could just hang the them breeze. up in your bedroom what? to remind you breeze. never do that again. Never take hard turns. Ben, I would like to apologize for go. destroying your pants. And my shirt. It's fine. The GoPro is finished. When I got up, it got a little woozy. Well, your glasses survived. That's good. Dude, if I've got anything to say to you, be smart, stay in school, and if there's a sharp turn that you got to make, Think about it twice. Maybe you don't have to go so sharp. Just a little. I'm getting better though. That is right. just a just a big bump. Oh, fine. Take it easy for a few minutes, okay? Yeah. Get this wound on camera. It's not even that bad. It's just, you know, a little bit of blood. Sometimes you just gotta sacrifice what you love to Did you love this shirt? use. So this was obviously a setback. We kept on keeping on. As you can see here, we're kind of riding around at the road. So we decided to continue on our mission, which was to get to the cart park and do some sort of off-road race there. It's a timed lap around the field, which includes a small off-road area. So let's get started off, Kawasaki 230. Now it did pretty decent, of course he's the only one that's gone so far, so we're gonna put him at first place. Then Cartboy goes on the money pit. Alright, so I'm just here. The login. He actually got was slower than the dirt bike, unsurprisingly, uh, so he is in second. Now the Kill Reaper... Woo! Time. With Ben driving that thing, man, wouldn't want to be up against that in a race. He actually is in first place now. And then we want the road kill. There it comes, there it comes. Oh, he almost solved it. It looks like he's going so slow, but he's not. between the money pit and the dirt bike, putting it in third Time. place. So you can see the final standings up on the screen right now. It was pretty fun. And so after this, we found a location to build a jump. So we got to work. Ben's got some words uh, about how he's he's doing at this point. 
Alright, this is an update on my condition. My arm hurts a little bit. My knee hurts a little bit. My pants are ruined. I'm ticked off. My sweatshirt, I didn't really care about it, but still it's ruined. I'm having a great day though. <laughs> oh, how'd you, how'd you do on the race today? Well, uh, I feel like I did very well on the race today. I beat everybody. I knew that. Pretty good. Ain't that just the nicest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Yo! I gotta try it on the jump. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness a Killer Reaper with a new belt being driven by a madman off a jump. Yay! All right, I'll get out of the way. Move. Move. Look at the smile on that man's face! Now this jump works really well actually. One of the only jumps that's actually smooth for a go-kart to go over. Now as far as damage reports, uh, this is where things start to go horribly wrong. Right after Xavier hops on it, the rim shears off from the hub, leaving the Kill Reaper stranded in the field. Then the roadkill won't start. So we end up calling Cartboy's dad to pick up the roadkill for us, and then we hauled the Killer Reaper home in the bed of our truck, thanks to old man. Well, the roadkill ain't running right. It's sputtering out and dying. Oh, we got Ben over there in our depression. So I think that about wraps up this episode. Stay tuned for next time. Till then, it's Cartman Productions. I'll see you. Ain't that just the nicest thing you've ever seen? Next time on Cartman Productions.